Welcome back. Today we discuss the Jedi Code, its positives and negatives. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe for more Star Wars content. There is no emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. There is no passion. There is serenity. There is no chaos. There is harmony. There is no death. There is the Force. I'm sure many of you Star Wars fans have heard, and if not, you have now. As you can see, it's very simplistic, much like the appearance of a Jedi. However, the meaning behind each code is much deeper, and Jedi would often spend hours meditating on these until they fully understood them. Let us break them down together as best we can. There is no emotion. There is peace. This code guides Jedi through their meditation, as well as their interactions between others. It builds on the belief that a Jedi should not act recklessly and that they need to view the actions of others through the unifying force. It isn't a bad thing to think through your actions, especially if your emotions are running hot. The last thing you want is to make a rash decision. However, to deny oneself emotion is always going to cause problems if you don't process them. Experienced Jedi could move through their emotions without letting them dictate their actions. Obi-Wan is a perfect example of this ability to process and control his emotions. There is no ignorance, there is knowledge. It's an easy concept, knowledge being the key. Some, however, didn't always understand this code, and often it would lead them to fear. The Jedi Archives hold the greatest collection of knowledge throughout the galaxy. I see the Archives as a wealth of knowledge, however many times Jedi and other outsiders were denied access. If you truly believe knowledge and wisdom to be important, how can you restrict it? I do understand that some Sith lore should be kept from the untrained eye, but I think that it's wrong to pick and choose who can study in the archives. There is no passion, there is serenity. Building on the first code, this again reminds Jedi to avoid personal obsession and to act in selflessness rather than putting themselves above their mission. Again, passion can lead to other emotions. Obsession and possessiveness is one example. We see what happens to Anakin when he lets his possessiveness take hold. Compassion, however, is key. To be totally selfless towards others is what makes Jedi so great. There is no chaos, there is harmony. Through the lens of a true Jedi, you can see all the actions and goings of the galaxy in a unifying sense. Everything is as the Force wills it. A Jedi thrives in order, but sometimes disorder can appear to be chaotic when in fact it is the very will of the Force itself. A Jedi must be able to see the unifying Force alongside the living Force and the cosmic Force. There is no death, there is the Force. This code touches on the harmony of the Force. Though physically your body perishes, you are a luminous being, and are part of an energy beyond time itself. Many Jedi come to grips with this, but few truly understand it. It isn't until Qui-Gon Jinn's training with the Shamans of the Will that the Jedi learn the ability to retain their consciousness within the cosmic Force. Before that, the Jedi accepted death as a transition to the Force. While the Jedi Code wasn't perfect, it did attempt to add a layer of discipline that would guide a Padawan and even a Jedi Knight or Master on the right path. Leave a comment below with any thoughts. Have an amazing day and may the Force be with you.